Hey guys, uh, I wanted to show you something that I've been working on. Uh, a few days ago at the Iron Yard, we were given an assignment, uh, which was to uh, create a blog post um, off of a mock-up that we were given. Just a single blog post, uh, but not hard coding it in the HTML, but instead pulling it in dynamically via JavaScript. Um, but it's just a single post, um, not an array of posts or anything like that, um, and definitely not anything that was stored on a database or using any back-end development. We haven't gotten into back-end just yet at the Iron Yard. We're going to be doing that in about a week and a half. Um, but I've been studying back-end on my own, and so I decided to uh, create a sample blog site that uses um, MongoDB as the database, and it's using Node with Express. Uh, to That's what I wrote the program in. And so all of the blog posts that you're going to see me write, edit, and delete on here are stored to a database. So that means if I were to uh, close out my browser and open it again, or stop and restart my server, uh, it would the all of the posts would still be there. So uh, let me just kind of show you the interface. By the way, don't judge the design. This is very basic and just thrown together. I didn't really spend time on the design. So post title, let's say I'm going to write a post about cats. And I've got an image of a cat already pulled up over here. And copy image address. And I've got some lorem ipsum about cats right here. All right, and let me publish that. There you can see I've got the first post broken up into paragraphs, the title of the post, and there's the date. All right, and let's say I want to add another post. This one will be a much better post. It'll be about dogs, much more tolerable. All right, so here is a picture of a dog that I want to throw in. And I've got puppy Ipsum over here. And let's say I want to give the website some credit. Puppy Ipsum. Dot com, I think was the name of the site. So I can publish that. And there you go. And notice because I have a little citation down there, uh, you can see the sentence that automatically is filled in. Let's say I want to change the title. I can go to edit and call it dogs are so much better than cats. Maybe why dogs are so much better than cats. I think that's good. And so I can publish, that'll update, and there you have it. The date is written below as well. I can also click on these and collapse the post as well. Another thing is the site is responsive. So as the screen gets more narrow, so does the content. So you're not going to have to scroll side to side. And let's say I want to delete a post. I can click delete. Are you sure you want to delete your post entitled Why Dogs Are So Much Better Than Cats? Sure. And I can do the same thing here. I can delete the cat post. And as I said, that was all stored on a database. So if I were to go in and uh, either shut down my server and restart it or shut down the browser and then open it back up, uh, the content that I did not delete would still be there. Um, so that's it. That, all, that's all I've done. I plan to add user authentication where I can create a username and password uh, so that you can actually log in and edit those. I haven't learned how to do that yet. Uh, but I plan on doing that within the next few days. All right, thanks for watching.